Hey everyone! So today I'm going to show you this look and if you like it or are interested in how I do it, just stay tuned and I hope you enjoy it and it's helpful and you can leave comments below for ideas or um, your opinion on it. And if you like my channel, you can subscribe and so yeah, see ya! Okay, so the first part of this makeup look is to use a primer and this is Lancome. And see it and it's just a nice primer that you want to use before you um, do any of your um, cover or foundations or anything like that and a small amount goes a long way so you just want to use a little squirt and so I'll show you just about that much so that's all you need is that much and you just want to get it all over your face and your um, eyelids and it really just smooths out your skin and kind of just um, makes it easier to put on the rest of the makeup. So after you've done that, then you take um, Cover Up. And I use Cover Girl. This is the clean oil free because I get oily skin. Or it's oil control, sorry. Because I get oily skin in the day, and so this kind of helps it. But I've been using my hands, and that's been working okay for me. But, you know, a brush works too. So I just kind of get it on my fingers, and I try to have it, you know, even. And so I just have it everywhere, and then I very lightly rub it over my whole skin. If you rub it too hard, you're kind of... Um, making the layer really thin so it doesn't um, cover as much as you would like it to. Sorry if you hear barking, that's my dog. I don't know why she's barking. So after I finish that, I want to take my concealer, and I use Clinique, and I use um, O1. That's the shade. Now, I, on top of the concealer, I use more cover-up, not liquid though, I use the powder. And this is also CoverGirl. And, and I'm shade 525, and that's not the lightest shade, I don't think. I'm not really sure what it is on the scale. So you just, I get, I use a little blush brush, and I don't have all the max and all the fancy ones, I just have, I don't even know what brand these are. Okay, so that's all for the cover-up, and now I'm going to move on to the blush. So, for the blush, I'm going to use, whoops, I'm going to use Lancome also. I use a lot of Lancome, and this is called um, Island Horizon, and it looks, second, it looks like this. It's really cool. Um, it has all these different colors. And when you swish your brush around in them, it all mix together and then make a really pretty color. So that's what I'm going to use. So you just want to make sure you get all those colors and mix it around like that. Oops. All the dust. Okay, so there. I got it. 
and I'm going to apply it on the apple of my cheek. So I'm just going to smile so I can find the apple. All right. And okay, that looks pretty good. Yeah, that's good. And so this is really cool. I like it a lot. It's so it's called Island Horizon again. I don't know if my camera will focus to see it. I don't think it wants to. Sorry about that, but it's called Island Horizon. Okay. My dogs keep barking. I'm really sorry about that. So the next part I'm going to do are my eyes. And I don't know if it's just me, but my favorite part of doing makeup is the eyes. Just because you can do you do so much with them. So I think that's my favorite part. But anyways. So I'm going to take, once again, Lancome, and it's this palette of four. It's really pretty. I like these two, the two pinks that are across from each other. And it's called, well, it's a color design, so I'll just name them as they go. As I go. So the first one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one right here, and it is called Kitten, Kitten Heel. It's a shimmer, and I really like it. And so I'm going to take this and I'm going to apply it over my whole entire lid. Up into the crease. And it really melts and so, but it does, you know, okay, my eyes look like, it does add a little shimmer, a little pink to your eyes. And I like that. Okay, that looks good. And then... The next part I take, or the next color I take, is this pink down here. And this is called Fashion Admirer. And I'm going to take that, and I'm going to put it on top of the one I just did. Like that. Okay. And I know that looks really pink, but I'll show you what I do to kind of um, bring it down a little bit. Because that's really pink, I know. So now I'm going to take this kind of skin color one right here. And that's called Latte. And I'm going to take that and apply it on top of the pink. So it kind of subdues it. It kind of subdues it so it's not super pink. Okay, that looks good. Now, the next one I'm going to take is also on this, and this is a brown. And I'm going to take that, it's also, but it's called Madison Avenue. And I'm just going to take it along my crease, kind of on the, um, not the inner part of my crease, but like the outer, like this. So it kind of just keeps going. And so it just kind of, um, shows off your crease a little bit more, like that. And it kind of just adds, um, you know, a different, like, not all pink. You know, we guys, before this, I didn't know I was using it, it was all pink, and, you know, I don't want to be all one color. Just a little bit more, and just down, like that. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And then what I do, I know I, t I blend a lot of this in. I'm going to take the tan again. latte yeah it's called latte and I'm going to kind of blend that in okay with a Lancome brush it is pretty big but I use it to just blend things in so I'm just going to close my eye and do this and I know it probably looks pretty silly but it really just kind of blends things in pretty well and so that's why I use it okay so that should work Funny. And this one is called Daylight, and this white one. And I'm going to use this on the inner corner of my eye. And what this does is it brightens up your eyes, and it kind of just makes them look more full. So I'm going to take it on my brush, and this is a small brush, and I'm just going to, excuse me, take it like that. Lighting is messing up. I'm sorry about that. 
just take it on the inside part of my crease and you might be thinking it's white it's gonna be all you know white but it does blend in very nicely and it doesn't look as white as it does on the palette because once you blend it in it looks really nice I do about two shades just are enough that I'm comfortable with sometimes I might need to do less or more just depending on what I feel like okay so that is it for the shadow and the next thing I'm going to do is take eyeliner and this is um, also Lancome and it's um, black ebony Oops. there it is Lancome crayon and this is a small one and I think it came as a sample but I do like it and I'm gonna apply this on my waterline so I might have to I might be out of camera I'm really sorry I just well, maybe I won't And not that much, really. Um, just enough that you can see it, but you don't need a ton. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to take my mascara, and this is also CoverGirl. Everything I have is either CoverGirl or Lancome. So this is CoverGirl Professional. And it's the all-in-one mascara, so it lengthens them, thickens them, and everything I wanted to do. And this, I don't get, like, the MAC or the fancy ones. This is all, like, drugstore, I guess, besides Lancome and Clinique. But um, it, you just use whatever mascara you really like. It's not going to do much different. I swear I never get it on my eyelids until I'm in front of the camera. Okay, well that's fine. I'll live with that. Okay, that looks good. So, after you do that, if you feel like you want to get some clumps off, you know, a mascara brush, and I take the comb side and I just comb through and this really helps like to separate any clumps you might have like I have I don't know if you can see it, it's like a clump right in the um, inner corner so it just really helps kind of separate them so that's it for the eyes and the next part I'm going to do is for the lips and this is a really subtle um, subtle look but it's really pretty and so for the lipstick it's this really really pretty kind of it's almost like a nude color it's called Elizabeth pink and this is SD, I'm, I don't know how to pronounce this, so please don't be mad at me. It's SD Louder. SD Louder. I don't know. I'm sorry. Um, you just use a little amount. And from my, from my color of lips, it really isn't much different. It just adds it makes them a little lighter and it just adds a little pink shimmery tone so on top of that I'm going to take my lip gloss and this is Lancome and it's Juicy Tubes and I know this probably looks so bright but it really just adds some sparkle so I'm gonna take just it's a squeeze tube so I'm just gonna squeeze a tiny 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 bit out and that looks good. I hope this tutorial was helpful and that you enjoyed it. And so just leave comments below if for any ideas or um, opinions on it and what I should do for my next video. And so thanks and see ya.